Hello everyone, welcome back to another installment of Basic Photoshop Tutorials. Um, this week uh, we're going to go right to, we're going to do uh, 3D. Um, a lot of times people don't realize that it is possible to do 3D in Photoshop. It's not as easy as some other programs like Illustrator, which already have a, a, a 3D rendering um, tool re already built into the program. But uh, for us, we don't really need to go all crazy with it. We just want to make some basic 3D um, uh, techniques and involve them in some text and some uh, shapes. So the first thing we're going to do is open up a new document, of course, um, and select the um, whatever it is you want to use rectangle. Um, I find that something with an with an edge like a circle would have you might have a tough time um, with this effect uh, using a circle because it is a sphere and it's a little different. Um, so use either a re rounded rectangle or a rectangle tool. In this case, I'm going to use rounded rectangle. All right, and you're just going to go ahead and draw a basic rectangle sh uh, shape. I'm just holding down the shift bar, uh, and that keeps your shape consistent on all sides. So we have a square now with some rounded edges. Okay, and if you don't have any rounded edges, just come up to your toolbar and go to radius and just type in a, um, uh, a number into the where the radius pixels are. I have 30 as my number, um, and that will give you a, a radius of 30 around your edges there. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is, is I'm going to change the color of this square, so I'm just going to double click on the color palette in the layer, right? And I'm just going to change it to a light gray, not too light, just enough so you guys can see it. So now we have this rounded rectangle, or square, I guess you could say, uh, and it's a gray color. So now what we're going to do is make sure you have your layer selected and that you select the Move tool. If you have any other tool selected, it might not work. Um, and uh, I, I've also known that using another tool, it hasn't worked. If there's any other tools it does work under, then, you know, good on you. But uh, in this case, just use the Move tool. It's the easiest way to do it. Uh, and it gives you the uh, availability to create some 3D. So I'm just going to turn off my Transform Controls. And that's just at the top again in the Toolbar, uh, Tool Option Bar. And that just gets rid of your boxes and dots around your layer, uh, your shape. So now that we have our shape selected and our move tool selected, we're going to hold down the Alt button. And then you're just going to go ahead and use your arrow keys in any direction you would like. And just stay in a consistent direction and move it outwards from your, your layer. So just we'll see what happens here. Is I'm going to hold the left and up button down. I just clicked it there. Left and up button down so we can get a, uh, an angle to the left. So I'm going to hold the left, up button, and Alt button all at the same time. And just going to tap it as we go. Okay, here we go. So I've done that a few times, um, eight times to be exact. And now you'll notice that the, the shape does have sort of a a little different difference to it. And it does. What has happened here is these layers on on your layer palette box here, they have moved um, left and upwards um, up to your original shape. So they really haven't created any 3D. It's just a bunch of layers together. Um, creating this effect but it does keep it consistent and if you do it properly what we're gonna do here is create the 3d it'll look very good so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select each one of our copied layers not the original so to do that just make sure you have your first layer selected in this case it's shape 1 copy 9 for me hold down the shift button and select shape 1 copy okay so now that we have all those copies that we just made selected we're going to merge them so you just go into layer merge layers okay so that's layer and merge layers or if you already know the command it's control E okay so now that we have that done we're just gonna go ahead and change the color of this cop of these copied layers so we're just gonna go ahead and right click on it and go to blending options and that brings up your your layer style window and we're just gonna do a color overlay so that we can have some distinction between the 3d and the original so click color overlay and then I'm just gonna make it a grayish color but it's a darker gray this time and then hit OK and then hit OK again on your layer style window but now what we have is just a different color box so in order to make the 3d shape we're gonna pull the shape one layer which is actually the shape one copy layer we're gonna pull that below your original shape so just hold it down left click and hold down and drag until you're underneath the original layer so you've noticed that now we have this 3D effect behind our box. And that's pretty much this, the way to do it. Um, you can add more layers to give it a more 3D effect, um, more depth to it. 
um, and you know you notice that again here the layers are still separate um, if you do want to put them together you just merge them or you can just copy each layer together and move them around like that um, so I'm gonna show you a text one to do text is a little more difficult um, because it does have a lot more distinction between each um, shape um, so you might have a little trouble making 3d text uh, it does get a little tricky it tends to not be as in depth uh, or it doesn't it doesn't have as much depth as a shape would but anyways continuing on so it's here so I'm just gonna type in a word tutorial of course which is the norm for me and I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same actions again all right I'm just moving all these layers in order here so what we do is is tutorial selected right your move tool is selected holding down alt and the left and up key or any other way you want to go in this case I'm gonna go um, right and up so just to show you a little difference and just tap it as many times as you want I did it five times there again we're gonna copy all these layers that's shift and click the last layer and they're all copied and we're just gonna merge those layers which again is control E or layer merge merge layers here at the bottom okay control E they're all layer they're all merged move it um, well actually we'll just go to the blending options first add our color overlay we're just gonna change it again to uh, a darker orange it doesn't really matter whatever you want to do I don't like that let's make it black okay hit okay on your layer style window drag the layer below the original and there you go there's your two there's your uh, 3d effect on your tutorial uh, text so it's pretty straightforward it's uh, it's a good technique to get into it adds some depth to your um, your photos and to your artwork and it does uh, it does tend to bring the picture alive and again that's it for this week so uh, if there's any questions or anything you want done uh, again email me um, just through YouTube or uh, and you know throw your MSN in there if you'd like to, to chat a little more um, and also uh, just make sure to subscribe and rate and uh, look look forward to more videos coming up okay thanks